Today's topic, close to fidget spinners, they're the poor man's fidget spinner. Jockey wheels. Oh, and that just went everywhere. So what I've got today is the Tax Ceramic and Teflon 11 speed fidget spinners, jockey wheels, for my bike to go on. And for Veronica's time trial bike, which I know has cracked jockey wheels, got some for that as well. So. On the website, let's have a look at what these are all about. These are the top of the range ones, about 79 US dollars, um, give or take in your market. There's different types of jockey wheels you can get from here, but these are the top of the range ones I've gone for today. The claim to safe energy on long rides, I think that's save energy on long rides. That's really about it. There's nothing much to them, but they're brand new, they're clean, and they haven't got 10,000 Ks on them. So let's be honest, will these make me faster on the bike? Probably not but it'll solve two problems. My drivetrain is quite dirty, so I can get my hands dirty, clean all of that, nice smooth drivetrain, put these on, and it should be singing along. And also, for Veronica's time trial bike, she has some cracked jockey wheels. So I'll install those on her time trial bike, and then everything will be sweet. So, let's unbox these, see what they're all about, and go out and get them on my bike. I've already cleaned everything, so with the power of the internet, this will be fast. Let's get into it. Okay, fidget spinner and my old jockey wheels. Look, they're not in too bad condition, but given I've got the ones to replace with, we'll put these aside and have a look at what's in the box. So in the box we have two jockey wheels marked upper and lower. Those aside. Okay, and we have some plugs to put on that are marked A, B, C, and D in the manual here. Okay. Aha, here we go. So Shimano 8, 9, 10, and 11 speed, we use plugs number A. So that's all we need to know from here. And they're marked upper and lower. Upper, lower. So plugs from A. Let's get those installed. Done. We are done. Now, how smooth are they? It's not bad. It's no, uh, no fidget spinner. If only we could run those. Okay, so that's mine out of the way. Let's have a look at Veronica's. So these are the SRAM ones. That we're putting on her time trial bike. So we have upper and lower marked on those as well. Same packaging, ah, but different size plugs. Ah, and they are, they are marked on here, upper and lower on the plugs. So upper, upper. Done. Oh, they're nice. Now, I know it's not a real valid test, but I can show you against the Shimano ones that I had. A little bit grindy. Oh, they're nice. Okay, so we're ready to install the Shimano ones on mine and the SRAM ones on Von's bike. Let's get to it. Leave it a little loose so I can fit the lower one in. Maybe not that loose.
Okay, that's nice, very nice. Now, let's go have a look at Von's bike. Kind of hard to see, but you've the top jockey wheel right there. If you can see that, that's a crack. Now, it's not fatal much, but it's not ideal. So I'm not going to clean the whole drivetrain here, but we will replace these, hopefully with the chain in check. Let me fumble around and get these replaced without cleaning everything. Game on, bike. Game on. This is actually one of my uh, most clicked on videos of how to make this on YouTube. So I'll link below to that, but this is my $20 bike stand. If you haven't seen it before, welcome to the beast. It does a really good job of exactly what I'm about to use it for. Okay, now because it has the braking down here as well, it's pretty nasty to sit something on the brake direct. So I'm just gonna put a bit of rag on there to pad that out. If you're gonna be using one of these bike stands all the time for that kind of uh, get up, then put something there if you've got an underside brake. Okay, let's have a look at that broken jockey wheel. There we go, yeah. We can see it's broken here. Oh, that's, yeah, that's nasty. That is absolutely nasty. That being the upper, it should be pretty easy to change out. Let's go. <laughs> With the right tool. There we go, that's what we need. So that is going in the bin. This is upper. And I'm hoping it's going to be as easy feeding it back through. And the wheel goes up like that. Brilliant. And while we're here, oh, I can see the bottom one's cracked as well. Ha! Oh, brilliant job at getting these sorted for Vaughn. Okay, so this one here should pop out below. Let's have a go. Came out easy. So did that with a big crack, lower pulley, replacing the new one. That is easy. Rock and roll, that was a simple process. I am happy with that. That's in. And two broken jockey wheels replaced in, look, that was less than five minutes to get that done. Super cool. Okay, let's have a close look at these broken jockey wheels. Just out of interest. So here's the two jockey wheels there. They're a bit gummed up, but that is, that's broken a lot. And that is, well, it's now broken a lot. So happy days to see these thrown in the bin. Okay, we're back to my bike now. New jockey wheels installed. We just have to feed the chain through. And it's happy days.
So no more than five minutes for each bike, even with the chain on Vons bike. That was pretty easy to switch those over and these are horribly broken. I have no idea how she was riding the TT bike with those snapped. So for my bike, was it worth it? We shall see out in the road, but it was nice to get my hands dirty and get everything clean on the bike. For Vons bike, was it worth it? Absolutely it was. So definitely check your jockey wheels on all the bikes that you own. And if you need to replace them, it's as simple as that. Third party, good way to go. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you out in the road soon. Oh, by the way, the blue matches my bike perfectly. I'm a big fan of blue. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.